The U.S. Energy Information Administration is a principal agency of the U.S. federal statistical system responsible for collecting, analyzing, and disseminating energy information to promote sound policymaking, efficient markets, and public understanding of energy and its interaction with the economy and the environment. AIA programs cover data on coal, petroleum, natural gas, electric, renewable and nuclear energy. AIA is part of the U.S. Department of Energy. Background The Department of Energy Organization Act of 1977 established AIA as the primary federal government authority on energy statistics and analysis, building upon systems and organizations first established in 1974 following the oil market disruption of 1973. AIA conducts a comprehensive data collection program that covers the full spectrum of energy sources, end uses, and energy flows, generates short and long term domestic and international energy projections, and performs informative energy analyses. AIA disseminates its data products, analyses, reports, and services to customers and stakeholders primarily through its website and the Customer Contact Center. Located in Washington, D.C., AIA has about 325 federal employees and a budget of $122 million in fiscal year 2017. Independence By law, EIA's products are prepared independently of policy considerations. AIA neither formulates nor advocates any policy conclusions. The Department of Energy Organization Act allows EIA's processes and products to be independent from review by executive branch officials, specifically, Section 205 d says, the administrator shall not be required to obtain the approval of any other officer or employee of the department in connection with the collection or analysis of any information, nor shall the administrator be required, prior to publication, to obtain the approval of any other officer or employee of the United States with respect to the substance of any statistical or forecasting technical reports which he has prepared in accordance with law. Products More than 2 million people use the EIA's information online each month. Some of the EIA's products include General Interest Energy Information Energy Explained – Energy Information written for a general, non-technical audience A non-partisan guide to the entire range of energy topics from biodiesel to uranium Energy Kids – educates students, citizens, and even policy makers and journalists about energy. Energy Glossary – common energy terms defined in plain language. Timely Analysis Today in Energy – informative content published every weekday that includes a graph or map and a short, timely story written in plain language that highlights current energy issues, topics, and data trends. This Week in Petroleum – Weekly Summary and Explanation of Events in United States and World Petroleum Markets, including weekly data. Natural Gas Weekly Update – Weekly Summary and Discussion of Events and Trends in U.S. Natural Gas Markets. Data and Surveys Gasoline and Diesel Fuel Update – Weekly Price Data for U.S. National and Regional Averages. Monthly Energy Review – provides statistics on monthly and annual U.S. energy consumption going back in some cases to 1949. The figures are given in units of quads quadrillion BTUs. Annual Energy Review – EIA's primary report of historical annual energy statistics. For many series, data begin with the year 1949. This report has been superseded by the Monthly Energy Review and was not produced for 2012. Country Energy Profiles – Data by Country, Region, and Commercial Group OECD, OPEC for 219 countries with additional country analysis notes for 87 of these. Country Analysis Briefs – EIA's in-depth analyses of energy production, consumption, imports, and exports for 36 individual countries and regions. Residential Energy Consumption Survey – EIA's comprehensive survey and analysis of residential energy consumption, household characteristics, and appliance saturation. 
Commercial Buildings Energy Consumption Survey, a national sample survey that collects information on the stock of U.S. commercial buildings, including their energy-related building characteristics and energy usage data consumption and expenditures. Projections and Outlooks Short-term energy outlook, energy projections for the next 13 to 24 months, updated monthly. Annual energy outlook, projection and analysis of U.S. energy supply, demand, and prices through 2040 based on EIA's National Energy Modeling System. Projections are currently based on existing legislation, without assumption of any future congressional action or technological advancement. In 2015, AIA has been criticized by the Advanced Energy Economy AEE Institute after its release of the AEO 2015 report to consistently underestimate the growth rate of renewable energy, leading to misperceptions about the performance of these resources in the marketplace." AEE points out that the average power purchase agreement PPA for wind power was already at $24 per megawatt-hour in 2013. Likewise, PPA for utility-scale solar PV are seen at current levels of $50 to $75 per megawatt-hour. These figures contrast strongly with EIA's estimated LCOE of $125 per megawatt hour or $114 per megawatt hour including subsidies for solar PV in 2020. This criticism has been repeated every year since. International Energy Outlook EIA's assessment of the outlook for international energy markets through 2040. Topic: Legislation. The Federal Energy Administration Act of 1974 created the Federal Energy Administration (FAR), the first U.S. agency with the primary focus on energy, and mandated it to collect, assemble, evaluate, and analyze energy information. It also provided the FAR with data collection enforcement authority for gathering data from energy-producing and major-consuming firms. Section 52 of the FAR Act mandated establishment of the National Energy Information System to contain such energy information as is necessary to carry out the administration's statistical and forecasting activities. The Department of Energy Organization Act of 1977, Public Law 95 to 91, created the Department of Energy. Section 205 of this law established the Energy Information Administration as the primary federal government authority on energy statistics and analysis to carry out a central, comprehensive, and unified energy data and information program which will collect, evaluate, assemble, analyze, and disseminate data and information which is relevant to energy resource reserves, energy production, demand, and technology, and related economic and statistical information, or which is relevant to the adequacy of energy resources to meet demands in the near and longer term future for the nation's economic and social needs. The same law established that EIA's processes and products are independent from review by executive executive branch officials. The majority of AIA energy data surveys are based on the general mandates set forth above. However, there are some surveys specifically mandated by law, including AIA 28, Financial Reporting System, Section 205 H of the DOE Organization Act. AIA 1605 and 1605EZ, Voluntary Reporting of Greenhouse Gases, Section 1605B of the Energy Policy Act of 1992. AIA 886, Annual Survey of Alternative Fueled Vehicle Suppliers and Users, Section 503B of the Energy Policy Act of 1992. AIA 858, Uranium Marketing Annual Survey, Section 1015 of the Energy Policy Act of 1992. EIA 846AC, Manufacturing Energy Consumption Survey, Section 205 I of the DOE Organization Act The Act calls for a biennial survey, however, this survey is done quadrennially due to resource constraints. EIA 457AG, Residential Energy Consumption Survey, Section 205K of the DOE Organization Act The Act calls for a triennial survey, however, this survey is done quadrennially due to resource constraints. EIA 871AF, Commercial Buildings Energy Consumption Survey, Section 205K of the DOE Organization Act The Act calls for a triennial survey, however, this survey is done quadrennially due to resource constraints.
Petroleum Marketing Surveys, Section 507 of Part A of Title V of the Energy Policy and Conservation Act of 1975 broadly directs AIA to collect information on the pricing, supply, and distribution of petroleum products by product category at the wholesale and retail levels, on a state-by-state -state basis, which was collected as of September 1, 1981, by the Energy Information Administration. <laughs> 